Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In today's video, we're going to talk about a feature we've introduced in Turbo 360 to identify idle resources. So idle resources are part of a decommissioning theme that we think is a really important um, area of the product. So what we're looking to do is to help customers identify things they've deployed in, in Azure at some point in time which now no longer get used. So we find this managing waste a real problem for people. So the idea is you, over time, you're just building up this technical debt that you're probably paying money for, but you no longer get any business value. It's just sat there wasting money, not being used. So in this particular video, we're going to look at some of the networking um, features we've added. So we're looking for idle, things like idle VNets, idle IP addresses, idle subnets. So in the product, we're focusing predominantly on um, cost analyzer in this video. So we have the four different modules that have different focuses of how they can help you with uh, managing your Azure resources. And to look at this, um, this particular video, so what we're looking at is um, you know, when we come to the idle resource detection. So the first key thing is over here on the side we've got this tree view that allows you to build a model of how the cost data represents uh, it's like model in your organization so here i'm looking at our internal resources and i'm looking at our um, document 360 product and i'm looking for idle resources within this product so in your organization you may model uh, based on teams or products or projects or something like that. And really what you're looking for is cost optimizations within that product uh, project. So here for me, the, the Doc360 team over there has a node for all of their Azure costs. I'm looking at this optimization tab over here, and I'm going to look to see if we can find any idle resources in that area. Okay, so we click the optimization tab, and I'm down... Now I'm going to my right size and tab, so we're looking um, over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter here just to reduce um, the scope of what we're looking at. So I'm going to look for recommendations that show only the idle resources. And we can see here we've got a few things that come up. So here we've got a few IP addresses showing up here. Here we've got a subnet, and I think if we if we look a bit further down. You can see there's a few other subnets here. So what's probably happened over time, the team have built up um, some networking resources that have either not been used because they changed how they were going to do something, or they may sometimes they may be stuff that you're going to do in the future, and they may be flagging up as idle. Um, now, I can see when I look at this, there's some questionable naming conventions that have been used here. So we've got things like default and subnet 8 vm which sort of suggests that they may have done some stuff here when they were setting it up and then no longer ended up using it um or probably renamed a better a better subnet so really what i'm looking to do is to get rid of these resources so from my perspective here the aim is to highlight these resources that i can then have the team go away and take actions to go and validate do we actually need this or not and if we don't need this, we can basically get rid of it and clean it up, reduce the technical debt in your environment. You'll see higher up, some of these resources will have costs associated with them. So we can see here these IP addresses, um, you know, for machines, they may not be costing a lot of money. So we, in this case, it's only three and a bit dollars a month for these IP addresses. Um, if you're in a big organization with lots of VMs where you've changed stuff over time, you may have quite a lot of these hanging around, so that cost can add up. But this is all part of the framework we're putting in for identifying idle resources. In the future, you'll see us adding more types of resources that we're looking for idle resources within, so hopefully that will help make it easy so every team can take ownership of looking to get rid of their um, Azure resources that they no longer use. Um, thank you for listening to today's video. We hope this is a, a good, useful one to help you spot features that can just help you keep on top of the technical debt. Remember that in you know, in the real world, not every cost to direct is your billing item. Sometimes you have, the, you know, the total cost of ownership is made up of other things like managing and maintaining resources. And if they're not adding any value, then obviously they're, they're potentially idle down here. So we want to try and get rid of these where we can. Um, have a great week and thank you for listening to today's video.